Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Box Office Talk. This is the show where I break down what happened at the box office, see if my predictions for the top five are correct, and then make predictions for next week's top five. So let's get right on into it. Last week I predicted that number one would be Captain Marvel, number two would be How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, number three would be a Medea Family Funeral, number four would be Alita Battle Angel, and number five would be the Lego Movie 2, the second part. And I only got three out of five of my predictions right right now. The four and five spot were actually much closer than I anticipated, so let's go over what happened in the overall top 10. Number one was Captain Marvel, of course. I don't think anyone expected otherwise, but I think some people might be surprised by how much it made because in case you didn't know, there was a huge case of people wanting to review bomb this film, people just saying outright they're not going to see this film. But surprisingly, amidst all of those uh, reactions from some people, this movie made $153 million on its opening weekend and is easily in the top 10 highest grossing MCU films on their opening weekend right now. And worldwide, it is already sitting at 455 million, which is 45 million away from half a billion worldwide. Whether it actually gets to a billion, we'll just wait and see for that, but this is actually a fantastic opening and one of the MCU's be better openings, and it's only a million ahead of its $152 million budget, which it definitely has already doubled at that point. So, no matter what anyone was really saying about protesting this film, not going to see it, it still managed to make a ton of money, and it actually broke quite a few records for itself, which is quite astonishing if you ask me. It'll be very interesting to see where this holds up though next weekend though, if it's going to have an over 50% drop, maybe 70-60%, or if it's going to hold over very well. well. We'll have to wait and see till next weekend for that because there's not much competition admittedly. Number two is How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, making $14 million, adding to a domestic total of $119 million. Worldwide it is sitting at $435 million, which is still very good. It still has a little ways to go until it outgrosses any of the other previous How to Train Your Dragon films, but it's still doing pretty well since it is literally just one placement outside of the number one spot. So give it a couple more weeks and I think it will be able to outgross at least one of them. Number three is a Medea family funeral making $12 million, adding to a domestic total of $45 million, and worldwide it is sitting at $46 million. So of course, just like any other Tyler Perry Medea film, it's doing pretty well for itself. I don't think anyone is surprised by that and I don't think you need me to dwell on this one for too long. Number four is the Lego Movie 2, the second part unfortunately, still just slacking a lot and it had a pretty big drop compared to the number three spot and also last weekend. It made $3.8 million this weekend and this is on a domestic total of $97 million. Worldwide it is only at $164 million. So it needs $34 million more to go until it doubles its budget but the fact that it's just dropping off so quickly each weekend like I, I, I'm praying still that before it leaves the top 10 it's able to double its budget but it, it's looking very thin. I think the chances of a third film are looking very bleak at this point which is very unfortunate. However, the chances for another Alita Battle Angel movie coming in at number five may, may be very well possible. It made $3.2 million, adding to a domestic total of $78 million. And though the domestic total isn't looking too good worldwide, it is looking fantastic, sitting at $382 million. This is, of course, $42 million over its doubling point, which it's already reached, which is very good. It's $18 million away from getting to $400 million worldwide. And I think this is a pretty good sign that they might just make another film in the Alita series, which will please a ton of people. The people people that went out to see this film, the people that have positively reviewed it all the time. Number six is Green Book, making $2.48 million. This is where the numbers are going to get really close, uh, adding to a domestic total of $80 million, and worldwide it is sitting at $242 million. So even though it won Best Picture like a week, two weeks ago, roughly around that time, it is still making a lot of money here in the top ten, which is very good for itself, obviously. Number seven, we have Isn't It Romantic, making $2.41 million, adding to a domestic total of $44 million. I already talked about how last weekend it doesn't really matter how it doesn't have a worldwide total because it's being distributed worldwide through Netflix, So, uh, and Netflix probably covered the cost of what it needed to be considered a success, so I can talk about how it hasn't reached the uh, $62 million uh, doubling point yet, but chances are Netflix has probably already paid for that through their distribution rights, so you know it doesn't really matter too much. Number eight is Fighting With My Family making $2.18 million, adding to a domestic total of $18 million, and worldwide it is sitting at $21 million right now, which is $1 million away from doubling its $11 million budget, so thank God. I, I'm not sure if it's going to stick around next weekend or if it will be pushed down out of the top 10, but the fact that it was able to almost at least get past its doubling point is very good. I would have loved if it made more money, of course, since I really did enjoy this film, but well, I mean, what am I going to do? If you're not going to see it, then I guess you're not going to see it, which is very unfortunate. 
million. Number nine is Greta, making 2.16 million, adding to a domestic total of eight million dollars worldwide. It is only at nine million. We still don't know the budget for this thing, but I'm just gonna go out on a whim here and say it's like maybe ten million, five million dollars somewhere on the low side. And I don't think these numbers worldwide even uh, are looking too good for this film. I think you can say that this is a flop, but not a huge flop or anything like that. Not like a Robin Hood from last year, but like a very minimal kind of flop. And finally, closing out the top ten is Apollo 11, a new documentary that was just released, making one million dollars, adding to a domestic total of three million. It's been lingering in the bottom ten for a long time, but now it's up in the actual ten spot, which is very good for this film. I'm glad that it got some more recognition out there because I've heard some good things about it. Now it's time for the fun part, the predictions for next week's top five. Number one, I think, is obviously going to be Captain Marvel again. We're just going to have to wait and see if it opens over 50% or under 50% of a drop. Number two, I think, will be Wonder Park. Number three, Captive State. Number four, Five Feet Apart. And number five, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. But what are your predictions for next week's top five? Leave it in the comments below. And if you got your predictions right for this week, you're going to need a shout out right now. Unless you didn't get it right, then I'm sorry. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Jackson Fulcher. See you guys next time.